Hey there, everybody. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how the spreadsheet's gonna work for the very last question of your take home part of exam number one. Uh, you're watching this video right now. I'm in the process of making it, but it'll be linked to there when it's done. And this is the actual spreadsheet that you're gonna be using to do this question. So take a look at it. Uh, it's gonna look like a very digital version of um, your lab that we did, which involved four fours, right? You're gonna take fours and put them together to make other numbers. So you're gonna make numbers like 32 and 64 and 512 and so forth and so on. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we want to learn how to make formulas in Excel because that's what you're going to be doing. You, you made, you made, if you will, formulas in class with the four fours lab. You were actually using um, formulas by writing down parentheses and orders of operations. All you're going to learn is how to take those and then do that in uh, Excel. And I'm going to also show you how to call cells in Excel, which is what makes Excel pretty, pretty powerful. So um, the first three that you're going to do here is you're, you're going to pick three that you liked from your lab, and you're going to type those numbers in here, and then you're going to, you're going to enter the formula from your lab over here. So let me just illustrate with an example, okay? So let's, let's say the number you wanted to make was 16. So I'm going to type, I'm going to, I clicked in the cell. Let me show you that again. I clicked in the cell and then just type 16 and then pressed enter. And what it does is it takes out all that text that was in there and uh, replaces it with 16. Now, the simplest formula I can think of to make 16 with four fours is just add them together. Four plus four plus four plus four, right? So over here in this cell, I'm going to type the formula that adds those fours together. And you're gonna, we're gonna do it in a, in a cell calling way in Excel. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna like this. Whenever you type a formula in Excel, the first thing you have to type is an equal sign, always. That's how you, Excel knows what's going on. If you, type, if you don't type an equal sign, it just thinks you're typing letters or numbers or something. But if you type an equal sign, it, it's, its attention is peaked. And then it says, okay, we're getting ready for a formula. Now, one way you could do this is by simply typing four plus four plus four plus four, and that works. But we're gonna teach you something new today about Excel. Once you type the equal sign, instead of typing four, you can actually click over here on that four. And what you'll notice is that B3 pops up because that four is technically in cell B3. And this is important, well, I'll show you why it's important in a second, but that's how Excel knows it's gonna use that value that's over there in B3. Then I'm gonna add that to C3, and then I'm gonna add that to D3. Now what I'm doing is, each time I press a plus sign, I'm then left clicking on the cell that I wanna to add to it. And Excel is keeping track of it by color coding. B3 is B3, C3 is C3, D3 and so forth, E3. Okay, now what I've done actually is what's called a, a merge. I've merged all these cells together to make one, but Excel just calls the whole thing B3, which is totally fine. We'll do more work like this in Math 98 and then Math 105 as well. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna add those numbers together, B3, C3, D3, and E3. When you press enter and you get 16. Now, some of you are probably wondering, why did you go through all of that cell clicking? Why didn't you just type four plus four plus four plus four? And that's a great question. For something as, as simple as this, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to not use just the numbers four, 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 and four. But later in this class, and definitely in Math 105, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna make formulas based on the positions of the cells, because then we can change them and the formulas will change as we change them. I'm gonna leave them four fours for right now because that's what this project is all about. This part of the question is all about. But I'm just trying to teach you some new stuff later on now, like, a, like a, a four later on now. Okay, so let's, another choice from your lab. Uh, let's do one. Can we make one? Okay, I think I can do this. For this one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that one minus that one plus that one divided by that one. Yeah. So I'm gonna go equals. Remember, always start formulas with an equal sign. That one minus that one, plus that one divided by that one. There's some fun order of operations going on there, right? Because it's gonna, it's gonna wanna do this division 
4 divided by 4 to get 1, and then it's going to add that to this minus this. And there's my 1. Sweet! Okay, just so you know, you can't use my exact same formulas that I'm using for, for mine. <laughs> you have, well, I shouldn't say that. You totally can if you use the same formulas I did. I don't know if you did, so I, I retract that statement. Okay, uh, let's make another one. We use 1 to 20 in your lab, right? We went from 1 to 20. I think I can get 8. I'm going to make 8. And the way I'm going to make 8... Am I going to make 8? 16... Yeah, I think I can. I can do that times that minus, and there's a couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to do it like this, though. That plus that. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the multiplication, well, the parentheses happen first, so D3 plus E3, that's 8. And then I've got the next one would be B3 times C3, so that's 4 times 4 is 16, so that's 16 minus 8 to give me 8. Boom. There you go. There you go. All right, so there's there's just three formulas to generate three values that we already got in our lab. So the first part of this last question on your exam is to do just that. You pick your choice, right? Your choice on these three things to get whatever numbers you want to build. And then over here, type your formulas in here and and just have them, you know, show me what the formulas are just by having them in here. And I'm, I'm going to talk more about that in a second. Okay.